Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Exercise Oncology Program. I'm Nicole Struthers. I'm one of the clinical exercise physiologists with the Health and Wellness Lab at the University of Calgary. And today I'm going to be walking you through week five of our program. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to keep building off of the last couple weeks and starting off with our warm up. So I invite you to clear your space, make sure you have some room to work out. Today we'll be using a couple pairs of bands. So if you have a long band, to make sure you have that. If you have a little looped band, uh, we'll use that as well if you have it. But if not, don't worry, we'll use this one here. Um, maybe a chair and a small set of weights. So let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna start by just jogging on the spot, getting those knees moving. Maybe you're doing a little bit of a jog here. Warming up the muscles as we get ready to work out. So we'll do a 10 minute warm up here just to get everything moving. And as always, just want everybody to check in with themselves here to see how you're doing today. So we've talked about fatigue levels before, making sure you're monitoring that throughout the class. So just check in, rate your fatigue on a scale of one to 10, and then set your intention for the workout today. What is it that you want to get out of our workout? All right, we're gonna start to pick up the intensity a little bit. So let's take that step out a little bit wider. Knees are gonna be driving in to the center. Hands are still pumping side to side here. If you're looking for a little bit more intensity, what you can do is you can start to add a little bit more of a hop into this. If your intention is just to move the body for today, keep it a little bit slower, that's all right. We're gonna pick it up one more time here into our speed skaters. So speed skaters in three, two, one. Here we go, tap behind. So arm is coming across for counterbalance. Other foot is tapping behind here. And we can add some intensity if you'd like, or we can stay a little taller and just do that side tap. Whatever feels best for you today. Okay, three. Two and one, bring it back to a little jog on the spot. We're gonna move into some shoulder rolls here. So rolling those shoulders forward, loosening up those arms and shoulders. Let's start to add those circles. So growing those circles, whatever feels best for you today. Pain free range of motion. Last big one forward here, as big as you can go. All right, pause. Rolling those shoulders back to start. We'll add in the hands and arms in a minute. So, starting off small. As we're doing this one, I really want you to focus on opening up your chest. Again, we're looking for a big stretch across the chest here. Last two big ones. Perfect, final one here. All right, pause. We're gonna add a knee drive up and we're gonna open up our chest. So opening nice and wide, we'll add that knee drive in. Step to the side. So we're looking for a little swing of the arms. Now if you're feeling fancy and you wanna challenge yourself, let's add a little bit of a hop into this. So a bit of a skip in between. Nice arm swing as we go. Last three, two, final one. All right, moving into a few dynamic stretches next. We're gonna keep going with our jog, switching to our lower body. So for this one, you're gonna put your heel on the ground, push those hips back behind you, making sure our back is nice and straight. And then we'll sweep the hands down by the heels. Okay, so for this guy, we're looking for that stretch down the back of the legs. Loosening up the hamstrings. Perfect. Couple more each side here. Making sure again that we're still pushing through the hips. We're not bending at the lower back. 
Last one here. Keep going with that little jog. We're gonna switch it up to a hip scoop. So core is strong for this guy. You're opening that hip out to the side and you're gonna draw a big circle with that knee till it comes into the front. Keep this guy tight. So from the side, scooping in, little jog step, switch to the other side and reverse. Let's go one more each side here. Perfect. And last one here. Shake those legs out. We're gonna get our heart rate back up again one more time and then finish with a few activation exercises. So we're gonna go for some quick feet here to work on our brain to body connection. What I want you to do is start off with a little jog. We're gonna go for about 15 seconds and I want you to go as fast as you can. Nice little light toe taps and then we'll relax back out of it. Let's start our first one here in three, two, one, and begin. Nice fast feet. We're moving those toes on the balls of our feet. Heels don't touch down. Keep going. It's gonna feel like the longest 15 seconds of your life. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Ease out of it there. Little jog. Bring the heart rate back down. If you felt like that got your heart rate up, that's pretty normal, even though it was only 15 seconds. We're gonna go in 10 seconds one more time, just like that. Really getting that heart rate up, working on our agility. Three, two, one. Here we go, nice and fast. Go, 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 go. Focus on that connection to your feet to make them move nice and quick or light on the spot. Almost there, guys, five seconds. Three, two, one, and ease back out of it. All right, we're gonna finish with a couple extra exercises just to warm up our body here. So let's go for some little squats. What I'm gonna get you to do for this guy is focus on a bit of core engagement, sinking those hips back and down. As we come down, hands are gonna come to the side, and then what I want you to do is roll up onto the balls of your toes, and then control back down. So we're working on a little bit of balance here, focusing on our technique, and then up onto the toes, getting those legs ready to exercise for today. Perfect. We're gonna go three more here. These are looking great. So thinking about driving up all the way onto our toes, nice and tall. This is gonna help your balance. And last one here. All right, shake that one out. Next one we're gonna do, we've been working on our rows, so pulling the shoulder blades back. So we're gonna practice just body weight rows to warm up our back muscles. Now I want you to stand in a sacred stance, pull that core on so our back is nice and flat. Roll those shoulders back and down. We really wanna focus on tall posture. So chest should be presented towards the ceiling. Head is nice and high and in line with our spine. Hands are gonna come out in front, palms face together. And we're gonna pull those elbows back, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Hold for about two seconds. And release right back out. So the only thing that's moving on this one here is my hands. I'm not arching my back, so I'm using that core to keep the body in that nice stable position. And I'm not using my neck, so I want you to focus on pulling the elbows back and down to the wall behind you. We're gonna be taking these rows one step further. And so really focusing on making sure we feel between the back here and not too much in our neck. The last two. And one. Okay, we're gonna finish with one last warm up exercise. Now, this one involves a wall. We're gonna work on stretching out our chest because I think too many of us are rounded forward because we spend our day driving, sitting at a computer, etc. So, we're gonna work on opening up our chest. So, if you have that wall, I want you to take one hand on the wall or you can do this just from this position as well. We're going to stand sideways and you're gonna take a step forward leave that hand on the wall, keep the shoulder relaxed 
and then step back. As you step forward, you're gonna feel that big stretch in that chest. So from the front, my hand is on the wall, taking that big step forward, big stretch across the chest and then back. We're gonna hold for about two seconds just to get that stretch, but not hold for too long. Okay, last one on this side. And I'm gonna get you to flip around, face the other direction. So same thing, find that wall, relax that shoulder down, and take that step forward, hold for one, two counts. Step back here, perfect. Making sure that that shoulder is not creeping up towards the ears, perfect. Let's go two more on this one. Step forward, a little core engagement. Shoulders relaxed, just feeling that stretch and easing out of it. All right, to give yourself a little shake, we're gonna jump into our circuit for today. So grab some water if you want. All right, everybody, I'm gonna walk us through our first circuit of week five here. So our first circuit is going to include reverse lunges or option to do split squats if you prefer. We're gonna move into a reverse fly, which is a new exercise. And then we'll do balance for tree pose, finishing off with cardio, low jacks, jumping jacks, or shadow boxing. So I'll quickly describe each exercise. And then as we've done before, we're gonna jump into our circuit. We'll do two times through each circuit, one minute per exercise. So the reverse lunges. We are building off of our squats here, okay? Or split squat if you'd prefer. Now, if you struggle with balance, feel free to hold on to the wall or have your chair handy. Remember the reverse lunge is taking that step back. We're gonna drop down here, pushing our hips back behind us. Using our glutes, using this front leg, we're gonna drive up to standing here. And then we'll switch to the other side, alternating there. Now, if you've mastered the reverse lunge and you're ready for the next challenge, we're going to stay in that position. So we're gonna set ourselves up in our reverse lunge position and we're going to do 30 seconds on one side and then switch. So we'll stay here, dropping down, pushing up through the heel and the front leg, 30 seconds and then switch. This one is a little harder because you don't get the same break than you do if you're standing up. Second exercise, reverse fly. Now, if you have a chair and you wanna do this one from a seated position, you are welcome to grab that. I'll demonstrate both here. So for this guy, we're gonna sit on the edge of our chair. Now, the reverse fly is gonna work between the shoulder blades here. I want you to hinge forward at the hips so the chest is presented towards the ground. Okay, if we're too tall, we're gonna start to get a lot in the neck and traps, which we do not want. So we're hinged forward, palms are gonna come out to the calves and they're gonna face towards your legs. Again, set your posture, roll those shoulders back and down. Soft bend in the elbows. We're going to open up those hands as if somebody's pulling our elbows back with strings. Now you can see as I'm doing this, my palms are kind of finishing facing forward. Okay, so I'm gonna open up to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades, just like I've done with my row before and then control back down to my starting position. Now, if you'd like to try this from a standing position, you're going to hinge up the hips here. So we're gonna sink our butt back, soft bend in the leg, chest again is towards the ground, let those palms drop down towards the ground. Take that breath in, roll the shoulders back, exact same thing here. Making sure we're hinged up the hips, hands are being pulled out to the side, and we're squeezing the shoulder blades. We're gonna start with body weight for the first one, and then if you feel like you've gotten it, you're welcome to add a little bit of weight, even one pound, two pounds, to this one to make it a little harder. Third exercise, tree pose balance. So we're gonna set ourselves up here, bring this leg up off the ground, hold this balance position, and switch at the halfway. And then we'll finish off low jacks. So stepping to the side, full on jumping jacks or you can go for some shadow boxing instead, your choice. So let's get back up to those reverse lunges. I'm gonna set up my timer here. You're going to get ready for that first minute of exercise. 
Here we go. We're standing nice and tall. Remember, reverse lunge, stepping back, or staying in that split squat position. Three, two, one. Time is on. So I'll demonstrate the split squat here because I know you've seen the reverse lunge before. Making sure we have a little bit of core tucked on. Okay, you can hold on to that wall for stability if you need to. Hands can stay in front. They can stay on the hips. We're controlling on the way down. Driving up through that front leg if we can. We're switching sides in three, two, one. Other leg, halfway mark, 30 more seconds. Here we go. Thinking about weight on the front leg. We're pushing up through that heel here. Control on the way down. Remember, you're only going as low as your body lets you. So if your knees hurt, you can switch to a squat instead. Final five seconds here. We're looking good. Three, two, one. Ease out of that. Shake those legs out. Remember, grab water at any point if you need. Now, onto our reverse fly. So we'll take a minute, we'll bring our heart rate back down. We'll set ourselves up for reverse fly. Remember, we're hinging at the hips here. If you're seated, if you're in that standing position, start tall, push the hips back behind you. You should feel a slight stretch in the hamstring. And then we'll bring that chest forward, roll those shoulders back, palms face towards our legs. Here we go. Time is on in three, two, one. Opening up to the side, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good. Remember, we want to keep the tension out of our neck. So you wanna think about pulling the shoulders back and down as you're going. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Awesome. From the front, here like this. You can see my palms are facing forward at the end. You guys are looking great here. Check to see what you're feeling, okay? Make sure you're not feeling too much in your neck and your traps. And we want to maintain that nice soft bend in the elbow. Squeezing the shoulder blades, breathing out as we go. Final five seconds here. In three, two, one. That is time. Easing out of that guy. Clear your space if you need to. We're on to our tree pose balance. So again, we'll bring that heart rate down. Find your balancing position. Fix your gaze on something. 30 seconds on one foot begins in three, two, one. Lift that leg up. Maybe it's touching on the calf. If this is feeling easy, feel free to try to bring that leg up above the knee. Hold that position there. Or maybe you're gonna bring the hands out to the side. Maybe they're gonna come up overhead. So playing with that, finding a gentle challenge. And we're switching in three, two, one. Switch on over, second side, same thing. Find that balance. Perfect position here. Focusing that gaze on something to help with the balance. Have a little wall or aid beside if you know balance is tricky. All right, final five seconds. We're gonna finish off our first round with cardio next. Three, two, one. Here we go, shake those legs out. Cardio, low jacks, jumping jacks, or shadow boxing of choice. Here we go, three, two, one, and begin one minute of cardio. So again, if you're doing the lower step jack, we're gonna get those arms out to the side here. Tap the foot. If you're doing full on jumping jacks, nice little hop to the side. Okay, so that's a little more high impact. Or shadow boxing here. Feel free to add some punches, maybe an undercut. Go on the other side. Adding some forward and backward movements. Your choice, have some fun with it. 
We're looking good, guys. We are over halfway, 20 more seconds remaining. Listening to your body, slow it down if you need to, or take some extra rest. All right, final five seconds. In three, two, one, you are done, our first circuit. So grab some water, and we are gonna get back up to our first exercise of reverse lunges. So feel free to join when you're ready. I'll give everyone a couple seconds here, and then we're back up to the top. So this is also where you can look at how it felt after the first circuit. Was it exhausting by the time you finished? Well, maybe we need to scale back the intensity a little bit. If you felt like you didn't challenge yourself at all, maybe try to add a little bit more progression. So pay attention to how you're feeling as we go into our second circuit. All right, we're back up to the top. Reverse lunge or split squat, your choice. Time is gonna start in three, two, one, here we go. So split squat, you're staying in this position here. Dropping down. Again, we want to control. One, two, three, strong up, one. And I, we'll use our breathing. Inhale on the way down, exhale as we come back up. Perfect, we're almost on this side. We're gonna switch in five seconds. Three, two, one, switch on over. Same thing, split squat or reverse lunge. If you're doing those step ups, you're always driving up to the top and then controlling back down. Control on the way down, strong up. Trying to get the glutes and the quads. We have five more seconds remaining here. Staying strong in that position. Breathing through the last couple. Three, two, one. All right, ease out of that guy. Now, second exercise. I'm gonna grab some dumbbells and demonstrate the reverse fly with light dumbbells. Now, remember for this one, you do not need a lot of weight because we don't wanna overuse our neck and our trap muscles. So, light weights only or body weight tends to be really good. Now, when you've caught your breath, we're going to sink our hips back or find your chair. Palms again are facing together. Let's roll those shoulders back so we have our nice tall posture. Find our core. So turn that on to support our position. Time begins in three, two, one. Here we go. Opening up to the side. Elbows lead the way. Squeezing the shoulder blades together trying to make sure that we're pulling the shoulder blades back and away from our ears so we don't want them coming up here. Try to set them back if you need to. Roll the shoulders back and then keep going. Feeling this one between the shoulder blades like our rows in previous weeks. Breathing out as we come to the side. <sighs> Inhale on the way back. We're looking good. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Stay strong here. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Core strong to support our back. In three, two, one. You are done. Okay, drop those dumbbells. If you were using them, Tripo's balance is up next. Bring that heart rate down just a touch. Find your position for balance. We'll start our first leg here in three, two, one. Time is on. Lift that leg up. Soft bend in the other leg. Focusing on something with your gaze to help with balance. Remember, you can make it harder by playing around with the hand positions. Or if you really want a challenge, try to glance to the left and then to the right. Three, two, one, switch on over, halfway mark. Same thing, find that balance, lift that foot up. You can think about keeping our core strong to support our balance. 
Maybe you're glancing left to right here. Adding a little bit more challenge. If you're feeling those little muscles in your ankle go crazy, that just means we're challenging the balance. Three, two, one. Shake those legs out. Let's finish off our first circuit for today with our cardio low jacks, jumping jacks, shadow boxing in three, two, one. Here we go. Out to the side. Low jacks, a little more low impact. This can still be really tough workout. You can play around with the speed here. Get those arms and those legs going. Now, if the shoulders are bothering you, keep the hands a little lower. Okay. Or if you're feeling up for the challenge, add those full jumping jacks. Again, we can do hands to the side if shoulders tend to bother you. Or shadow boxing. Have some fun with it. 20 more seconds, guys. Heart rate should be up. We'll take a break after this circuit. Grab some water. In five seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it back down. You are done our first circuit. So you get to catch your breath and I'm gonna walk us through circuit number two. All right, everybody, circuit number two. We are gonna be going through a standing band chest press, so you will need your band for this one. We're gonna be doing a banded sidestep or monster walk, so either a long band or a looped band. And then we're gonna finish off with our speed skaters cardio. So let's walk through our standing chest press. For this one, if you have an anchor, you can anchor your band behind you, and then and face away from the band. Now, if you're like me and you don't have an anchor spot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the band around behind our back. We're gonna slide it up uh, to our shoulder blades and then we'll make a little handle for the band. So you can adjust the tension by grabbing the band closer into the shoulders or ease out and grab the band a little bit closer to the ends, okay? So you adjust the tension and then let's get into a staggered stance to protect our low back. We'll turn our core on, snug that band up into the shoulders, and then we'll extend the arms straight out in front. Now, with our chest press, we're going to keep the palms face towards the ground. Again, we want nice tall posture. Bring the bands back into your chest. They're going to pull you there anyways. So you just want to make sure that you control it back. Elbows are going to stay in a 90 degree position. So we'll keep the wrist stacked on top of the elbows. And then you're going to engage that chest, engage that core, push the band straight back out, control back. Okay. So we're looking at engaging our big chest muscles here. Now, second one, banded side steps. You can take your long band here and then step on the band. Add some tension, so make sure your feet aren't completely together. Now you can just pull the bands up here if you want a bit more tension. Grab a little bit lower on the bands and cross in front. For this guy, we're going to sit down as if we're starting a squat. Turn our core on, and then we're taking little steps to the side, controlling out, okay? So we'll go for about five to ten steps one way, and then we'll switch directions and go the other direction. Now, if you prefer to use a little looped band, you're also welcome to grab one of these. You would just place this right around the ankles here, and then you're just doing the steps like so. Finishing off, our last one is going to be cardio speed skaters. So we did these in our warm up together. We're gonna tap to the side. You choose your intensity. If your back feels a little sore, stay a little taller and just do some side taps. So with that being said, let's get up to our first exercise of chest pressed. Let's find our band, anchor it if you have that spot, or loop it behind the back, snug it up into the armpits. Finding our staggered stance here, we're going to turn the core on, bring those arms straight out in front, set the shoulders down. First one begins in three, two, one. Elbows lead the way. Big press in front, control back, 
and then big strong push out with this guy here we want to make sure we're strong in our position okay and that as we're going we're not letting our shoulders round forward so try to stay nice and tall in your posture really feel those chest muscles engage perfect we're halfway there you're looking strong nice control on the way back and exhale as you come forward so we're going to push forward inhale exhale during the hardest part of the motion exhale as we come forward good should be feeling those chest muscles engage we want to stay right over top of the chest so not let the hands come up or down in three two one that is time drop that band switching out for your looped one or keeping your long one we're going to move right into our monster walk so stepping on that band here we're going to add some tension i like to cross my band in front and then make sure you always have the hip width distance apart with your feet let's sink back as if we're starting a squat turn our core on just a bit now the key with this one is to kick out with your hip try to keep your upper body nice and stable here we go one minute in three two one let's go so kick to the side control in kick and control you're gonna feel this right on the top of your hips okay so if you're doing this one right you're gonna feel that burn right up here so we're controlling both directions go for about five to ten steps depending on your space and control back toes should always stay pointed forward or slightly in all right should be feeling that burn in your glutes we have 15 seconds see if you got a couple more nice control both directions again if it's getting hard just ease off on your band tension add a little less tension okay final three two one you are done that one let's take that band Put it to the side we're going to move right into our cardio to finish off our second circuit round one speed skaters it is in three two one let's go so again you're choosing the intensity that you're working at okay if you're feeling a little tired and you're like i don't know if i'm going to make it through the circuit stay a little taller see if you can just move the body nice and gently little side tap if you're feeling good okay let's add a bit more hop to it a little more step soft bend over channel your inner speed skater here hands are coming across as a counterbalance we're looking good guys we're getting there staying strong here remember we want to maintain our pace for the minute so if you're finding that you're dying by the end scale back a little bit go a little slower we are almost there staying strong in 10 seconds three two and one bring it back down okay our first round is done so you know what that means we're back up to our chest press now grab water if you would like bring the heart rate down a little bit we'll slow our breathing down and then when you're ready you're going to find your band set up for our second circuit through this one so our chest press now if you need extra time you're welcome to pause the video and come back when you're ready we're gonna get started here so again we're gonna loop that band around behind our back cinch it up into our armpits get into our staggered stance here turn that core on okay so we have that nice strong posture and foundation palms are going to come out in front facing towards the ground let's set our shoulders back nice and tall posture we're going to begin our second circuit here in three two 
two, one, and go. Control out to the side. Elbows stay nice and high. We're keeping our wrist stacked on top of the elbows. And we're breathing out as we come forward. Perfect, control, control. Big press forward, feeling that stretch across the chest as we come back and then pressing forward. Again, pausing before you slump the shoulders forward. So we always wanna maintain our nice strong posture. Almost there, guys. We have about 15 seconds remaining. So keep that control up. Keep breathing through the exercise. Breathing out. In five seconds. Three, two, one. Drop that band. Chest press is done for today. So let's take this band or switch out for your little loop band if you would prefer. And we're going to set up for our side steps with the band or monster walk, commonly known as. So we're going to keep the hips, feet, sorry, hip width apart. We're going to add some tension onto our band, sink back as if we're doing our squats. So I'm here like this. I'm going to turn that core on and we're stepping to the side in three, two, one. Here we go. Steps to the side. Nice control. Control, big kick out, and then control back. Perfect. So again, we're trying to feel tops of the hips. We really want to emphasize that kick out as we go. Toes are pointed forward or slightly in. Five to ten steps, one direction. Switch on over. We're getting there. We have 20 seconds remaining here. So we're over halfway. If you're like me, glutes are burning right at the top. These guys are great for hip stabilizing. So if you like doing running, walking, anything, these ones are gonna be super important to keep those hips strong. Three, two, one, you are done, Monster Walks. Take that band, put it to the side. Let's finish off our second circuit here with our Speed Skaters cardio. So again, bring that heart rate down. When you are ready, we're gonna start our Speed Skaters. Three, two, one, time is on. One minute, our last cardio blast for today. So again, listening with, to your body, checking in with yourself here. How are you doing energy-wise? Are you starting to fade a little bit? Keep it a bit slower. Are you feeling more energized because your body's moving? Add a bit more hop, a little bit more intensity. We're looking good. Choosing your pace. We're over halfway. Breathing throughout, never holding our breath. Final 10 seconds, everybody. Staying strong. In three, two, and one. Bring it down. Second circuit is complete. So grab some water. We're going to reconvene on the mat for our final circuit. All right, everybody, we're on to circuit three for our week five program. So we have three exercises that are going to be on the ground. We have our hamstring curls. We're going to be using an exercise ball here. Okay, so if you'd prefer or you don't have an exercise ball, the other option is to do our hamstring bridge progression that you did in last week, week four with Juliana. Or from a standing position, you can do the standing hamstring curl. Our second exercise is going to be a progression of our bird dog. So we'll be in tabletop focusing on core engagement in a different position, adding in a leg extension. And then we're going to finish off with a plank. So working on those abdominal muscles. 
So let's walk through the exercises quickly here and then we will get started. If you have your exercise ball, we're going to set the exercise ball so that we are lying on our back here, okay? And we're going to bring our feet onto the ball. Now, for this one, we want to make sure we have enough of our foot and calves on the ball that we feel stable. We're going to bring the hands out to the side for some stability, and then you're going to lift those hips up a little bit and slowly start to pull the ball in with your heels and control back out. Okay, so as we pull the ball in, we're going to be activating the backs of our legs here. All right, I'll show another way how to make that one harder when we get up to our exercise. We'll just walk through the three exercises here. Now, our second exercise is a bird dog progression. So the last weeks, you've been working on core engagement in this position. So finding our core, pulling it in, making sure everything is nice and strong and stable. So we're going to engage that core and then slowly, without letting the hips move, we're going to lift up one leg and extend it back, squeezing our glutes, trying not to let our hips dip either way, and then control back, touch down. We'll switch on over, find that core engagement, and extend. Stand out behind us, only going as far as it feels comfortable, and return. Finally, we're going to drop down here onto our mat for a plank. Now, plank can also be done from the wall. It can be done from the chair or from a counter, whatever you have. So the two versions that I'll walk you through today are our knee plank, where we're going to lift up, keeping our back nice and flat. Or if you're up for a challenge, you're coming up onto your toes, holding and then breaking as needed. The key with the plank is to make sure that we never feel our lower back. So as soon as we start to feel our back drop, I want you to take a break. We're accumulating time. There's no pressure to get a minute done in the first time we're doing this. So with that being said, let's get up to our first exercise going up to our hamstring curls. So if you have your ball, we're going to find that or option to do the hamstring bridge progression from last week or standing hamstring curl. We'll set ourselves up. Feet are on the ball. Let's begin our final circuit for today. Three exercises, one minute each. First one starts in three, two, one. Here we go. Lift those hips up. Draw that ball in. Control back down. Feel free to take a break. Bring the hips back down. Or keep going here with the hips nice and high breaking as needed. Now, if this feels pretty good, the higher your hips are, the harder it's going to be, okay? So you can also keep the bum on the ground and just pull in. If it starts to get to be too much, remember we're after control in this one. Nice, smooth movements here. Hands are at the side for that stability. We're into our final stretch. 10 more seconds. You should be feeling the backs of the legs right here. All right, finishing this one off in three, two, one. Bring the bum back down. We'll kick the ball to the side and we'll switch over into our bird dog position. So let's flip around, breaking as needed. We are in our bird dog position here. So, tabletop. Arms are right underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips. First thing we're going to do is find that core engagement. So we're pulling our pelvic floor up. We're finding our deep core muscles here. And then we'll slowly start to extend. Time begins in three, two, one core engagement, lift up that leg, extend backwards, making sure that we're not letting our back dip. So that's where our core comes in. That's how we're strengthening all of those back muscles by keeping it in that neutral position, slowly extending, engaging that core, breathing out as we extend. 
Inhale, exhale, breathe out. Extend back. Perfect, these are looking good. Nice control. Hips are nice and level here. Pretending that you have your favorite drink on your back and you cannot let it spill. Needs to stay nice and stable. Five more seconds here. Keep that core strong, always resetting if need to. Three, two, one, you are done that one. All right, if you would like, you can stretch out your back really quick in between our circuit exercises. And then when you're ready, we're going to set up for our plank, whether that's on the wall, whether that's from a chair or joining me on the mat. So again, we're gonna check to make sure that our elbows are underneath our shoulders so we don't get tension through the neck. We're going to lift up on my count into our nice straight back position, pulling our belly into the low back. In three, two, one, here we go. Lifting up. Nice strong core here. Remember, we want that nice flat back. Hips are high. We don't want them too high. We don't want them too low. So we're trying to find that perfect in between. We're pulling our belly in. And we're just going to breathe the whole time, taking breaks as needed. I'll give you time points if you're someone who likes to know where you're at. That is 30 seconds. Now, if you need a break, take those breaks. Just relax down onto the ground. And then when you feel ready, you're coming right back up. We're getting so close. 45 seconds into the final time here. If your muscles are shaking a little bit, that's pretty normal in the plank. Final five, three, two, one, and relax back down. You made it through our first circuit. All right, that being said, we're going to flip on over repeat those three exercises one more time. Again, I invite you to check to see how you're doing. How was the intensity of that circuit? Do you need to make it a little bit harder or a little bit easier so that you're getting the right stimulus on your body? With that being said, let's find our ball or set yourself up for those hamstring bridge progressions and we'll move through our final circuit for today. Feet are on the ball, hands are out to the side. Again, as always, we're gonna turn a little bit of core on, so that 20 to 30% core stability in our deep muscles. We'll start our final round in three, two, one. Here we go, lift those hips up, pulling that ball in, nice control, 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 back down. Take that break if you need to, or hips stay nice and high as you repeat. Perfect. Driving the heels into the ball, pulling the ball in nice and controlled. Check to make sure you're breathing. And if you need to, you can adjust your feet on the ball. These are looking great. We have about 15 more seconds to go. Breaking as needed, right? Should be feeling those hamstrings activate. Perfect. Dropping the hips if you need to, if it's starting to get a little hard. Three, two, one. You are done that one. Let's push the ball to the side. Two more exercises to make it through today. So we'll flip over here, bird dog position. So let's set ourselves up, perfect tabletop position, relax those shoulders, find those core muscles, deep pelvic floor and deep core. Once you have that engagement, time is on in three, two, one, hips are nice and level, lift that knee up and slowly extend back. Control back down, again, reset that core if you need to. 
to make sure that that is the focus of the exercise. Stabilizing that back in this position, adding in some limb movements. Perfect. We're looking strong here. Keep that control going. Breathe out as you kick back. Final 10 seconds here. In three, two, one, you are done that guy. Again, if you'd like to just relax into child's pose as we take our quick second in between exercises, you're welcome to do that. And then finishing off with a bang. We're back into plank round number two. So find your position, whether that's on the wall, the chair, the counter, or on the mat. Set your shoulders and elbows in line and moving into our position in three, two, one. Time is on. Lifting those hips up. Keep the neck relaxed. We're going to do that by engaging some of our big back muscles right here to help keep our shoulders strong. And we're just breathing here. Perfect. This is going to be the longest minute of your life. Break if you need to. Catch your breath. If you start to feel low back, ease out of it. And then coming back up when you're ready. We are almost there. We're into our final 15 seconds. Continue to take those breaks. Accumulating time. Final five, last three, two, one, and you are done. Ease onto your mat and take a minute to congratulate yourself. You made it through our workout for week five. Well done, everybody. You made it through another workout. Now, that we finished our circuits, we are gonna move into a time of stretching. And I'm actually gonna switch it up today. We're gonna to come to a standing position here. And grab your chair if you have it handy. So the first one we're gonna start with is a stretch for the back of the legs. We're gonna extend one leg straight out, toes point up to the ceiling, and you're gonna hinge forward at those hips until you feel that stretch down the back of the leg. We're gonna hold each side for about 30 seconds here. Just breathing nice and deep. Making sure our back still stays neutral so we're not rounding through with the shoulders. And then just breathing here. Let's come up nice and tall. Switch on over, same thing, other side here. Changing at those hips. It often doesn't have to be a big stretch or hinge to feel those hamstrings. If you're feeling flexible, you can try to reach a little further down. Sometimes as you stretch, you'll start to feel things relax a little bit. And we'll ease out of that one there. So still sitting nice and tall, we're gonna move into stretching our glutes or our deep bum muscles. You're gonna take one leg, cross it on top. And then you have two options here. You can simply lean forward. You're gonna feel that deep in the glutes there, or you can take that knee and give it a nice big hug. And if, same thing, you'll feel it nice and deep in those glutes. So try both and see what you feel more, and then go with that one there. So we're hinging forward here from the front. Just have one leg crossed over, slightly forward.
Still breathing the whole time because our breath can help us to relax. So we're gonna think deep breaths in through the mouth and nose, big exhale. And back up nice and tall. Let's switch arms over, same thing other side. So ankle is on the knee. Again, either leaning forward here or maybe trying that big hug in at the knee. Playing around with what you feel works for your body. We're looking for a gentle stretch. It should never be to the point where we can't relax. It's so painful. And let's ease out of that one. Next one we're going to do while we are seated is a big chest stretch. So for this guy, we're going to open up our chest here. Palms are going to face forward. Now you can do this one from standing too if you prefer. And then I just want you to bring those hands up a little bit to the sides, keeping the shoulders relaxed down, and then gently pull them down. If you need a deeper stretch, you're going to slowly bring those elbows up a little bit higher. As you do that, you're going to feel that stretch all the way across the chest into the top of our biceps. If at any point it gets to be too much, bring those hands back down. Take a couple breaths, and then see if you can come back up a little bit higher without letting the shoulders hunch. Key is to keep those ones relaxed. From this position here, we're going to take those hands, we're going to collapse them together, and I want you to try to arch those shoulder blades apart. So we always tell you to squeeze them together, we want to make sure we stretch those as well. So we're going to pull those shoulder blades apart here just a little bit, looking for that stretch in the back. Now if your hands don't clasp, that's okay, just a reach forward as well, that works. And let's go through that one more time, back into that big chest, nice tall open chest. Pull the hands back a little bit, find that big stretch, playing around with that motion. And then hands are going to reach or stretch in front. Shoulder blades are getting pulled apart. And relax out of that one. Let's move into some shoulder stretching next. Hand is going to come across the body here. Looking for that stretch on the top of the shoulders. Now, if you're feeling like you can multitask, we're going to add a little wrist rotation here. So you're just going to do some gentle circles with the wrist. Making sure you go both directions, so switching here. And let's open that one up nice and wide. Switching over, same thing, other side. So finding that top of the shoulder stretch. And then if it feels good, adding that wrist rotation. Both directions, so making sure you switch here. And easing out of that one. Let's move into our quads. So I'm going to get everyone to come all the way up to standing. Now you may want something to hold on to to help with the balance. So have your chair or your wall close by. We're going to stretch out the front of the leg. So you're going to grab onto your ankle, sitting nice and standing nice and tall, little core engagement. 
We're looking for that stretch down the front of the legs. Now, if this feels like too much of a stretch or you're struggling to get a hold of that ankle, use your chair. Make sure you stand by a wall for balance. And you're going to loop that foot onto your chair. And then just squeeze your bum, push the hips forwards. Now, that's also going to stretch the front of the leg. But it's not quite as big of a stretch as if we're holding on to it. So if it feels like it's too much, switch it out. Try this one. And then we'll switch on over. Same thing, other side, using whatever method you prefer. Slowly easing out of that one. We're almost through our workout for today. Now the last one I want you to do is maybe just close your eyes. We're going to do a couple deep breaths in, rolling those shoulders back and down, getting ready for the rest of your day, whatever time of day it is. So if you want to close your eyes, you can. We're just going to do a couple deep breaths in. Breathing in through the nose. As you breathe in, I want you to bring those shoulders up. Exhale. We're dropping those shoulders back and down and repeating. And as we're doing these last couple shoulder rolls, I want you to take a minute and just thank yourself for coming and doing this workout. So you created time and space to take care of your body and to give it some movement. So well done. Celebrate that moment and slowly easing out of it. Well done everybody. You have made it through another week. So week five complete. We're going to see you all next.